Hey, Shirt Callers and Certified Installers. Today we're talking through all the solutions that can improve weak cellular signal for small, medium, and large buildings. Let's get to it. It's been 30 years since cellular was introduced and many of us are still struggling with poor cellular reception. And with 5G nearing deployment, predictions suggest in-building coverage could actually get worse. There are three main solutions that can help those of us who are using cellular devices inside of buildings. Those are femtocells, distributed antenna systems, or DAS, and signal boosters. Femtocells are the go-to solution for many carriers whose customers struggle with in-building cellular connectivity. In short, these devices resolve the issue by creating a hotspot in your home that backhauls to the internet to allow you to make calls from your mobile phone. A few key elements of a femtocell is, first, they're specific to one carrier. Second, they allow as many as four simultaneous users. Third, they come with a monthly fee. And fourth, they tend to cover small spaces of one to two rooms. We typically suggest these for very small spaces that have no outside or nearby signal, but have access to reliable internet. DAS, or specifically active DAS, is the suggested solution for large and enterprise buildings over 500,000 square feet with a high count of simultaneous users. The reason this is the chosen solution for larger venues is because it connects directly to the carrier's network so the cellular sites in the area don't get overloaded. Because this solution connects directly to the carrier's network, it requires the approval of all carriers supported by the system. This can be very expensive and time-consuming, which is why Active DAS is most often the in-building cellular solution of choice for very large buildings. Signal boosters, which are classified as passive DAS, are the most common solution for buildings between 5 and 500,000 square feet for reasons of cost, flexibility, performance, and turnaround time for installation. Signal boosters work by capturing the signal outside of the building, amplifying the strength of the signal, and then retransmitting inside of the house or the building. If only I had one that I could show you. <laughs> Signal boosters are carrier agnostic, which means they'll work across all five bands to cover all frequencies used by all North American cellular providers. That includes AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, Telus, Bell, Boost Mobile, Sastel, well, you get the point. The cost of these solutions can range from a few hundred dollars for a small to average size home or office to just over 1,000 for larger buildings. Installation for a small home or office can be completed by a do-it-yourselfer in just a few hours and a certified installer can install the systems into a mid-size home or office in one day with larger buildings completed in under a week's time. If you have no outside or nearby signal, the signal booster will not be the best choice for you. On the other hand, if you have a usable outside signal and need coverage for multiple carriers or need a cost and time effective solution for a building between 5 and 500,000 square feet, a signal booster will be a great low maintenance choice. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out one of these videos for more information about similar topics.